What is popping? Party people. Yes, that did cut out of the original video so i had to record it afterwards but i think i did a pretty good job i've just hit an absolutely monumental amount of platinum trophies 30 wow you know what you're thinking how the hell has he done that oh, well, some people are just built different joking aside yeah i hit 30 platinums big whoop but i've decided that why not talk about them in a little bit more detail for those wondering yes the games in the background are the games i've platinumed and I know, I am a genius. And rank them on a tier list because everyone loves themselves a tier list. A few disclaimers before I'm actually sat down and not stood up. I'm not solely going to be ranking games on whether I enjoyed them or not. It's about how was the Platinum experience. So I could bloody love the game, but the Platinum experience could have been awful. It's going to bump it right down the rankings. I'm also only going to give myself about 30 seconds per game. Did I bollocks take 30 seconds a game? Strap yourselves in. I waffle a lot. Because I love to waffle. And this video could turn into about two hours of me talking nonsense. But anyway, let's hop on over. So here we are, boys and girls. Out of the computer screen. Got all the platinum icons saved, ready to put into their places. Four categories. I thought about five, but... Let's just do four. Creme de la creme. Basically, unbelievable game, unbelievable platinum trophy. Wouldn't really change anything. Platinum means I think you should platinum the game, obviously. It's all right. Probably play the game, but don't go for the platinum. And then never, never again. Why did I play this? I feel like the middle two are just going to be stacked. And like, there's barely going to be anything in the top one and the bottom one because I don't really play games that I don't want to platinum. I don't have grubby games and things like that. So, but anyway, I'm sure you're interested to find out how I'm ranking these games. So, we're doing them in the order that I platinumed them as well. So, we kick things off. What started the addiction was Burnout Paradise on the PS4, the remaster. I've actually got the PS3 version as well on the profile but on like two percent one of my favorite ever races so that's gonna do it justice the the platinum didn't really make you do anything outlandish uh just made you experience the game which is always a positive nothing that annoying until multiplayer trophies that you have to boost because there's some really really random ones so for that reason i'm still gonna sneak it into platinum but the servers might go down they have done on the PS3 version, so I can't platinum that. And yeah, you have to get a, a big team of boosting people, which you can do on PSN profiles, but it's just a pain in the ass to do, isn't it? Next up, Days Gone. What I feel is like an underappreciated game or underrated game, but maybe not so much anymore because everyone seems to include it in their underrated game list and things like that. But yeah, second ever platinum for me. Um, nothing missable, which is key, really. I hate missable trophies because that means I have to follow a guide and not really enjoy the game. But it is super long. Very long game. Um, a bit annoying collectible wise. There's like 240 in the game. Um, so that's a bit of a grind at the end. So I'm just about, even though I enjoyed the game, the platinum just, yeah. If you're not a big platinum hunter i just wouldn't go for the collectibles to be honest with you so it's gonna go in. it's all right now again i'm not ranking these on my favorite games bloodborne one of my favorite games ever if not my favorite game ever especially in the modern era i really they need to make bloodborne 2 or remaster this one i don't care it needs to be done but yeah the, the platinum's actually a little bit annoying Obviously, with all the Soulsborne games, multiple endings, you also quite frequently have to follow a guide with these games, which I don't love. Um, I did play through it once and enjoyed it and then followed a guide, which I'd recommend doing. Uh, and the Chalice Dungeons, man. Some of those bosses. The big Amagdilla, I think it's called. I don't remember the exact name. A right pain. Um, people talk about that fiery dog. Don't know what that's called either. Um, I actually find the massive spider sort of boss way harder. Um, so yeah, my favourite modern era game probably, but I can't put it in creme de la creme because I'd be going against what I said at the start um, about how I'm rating the platinum, not just the game. And for that reason, I'd still recommend you platinum it, but um, yeah, not creme de la creme. Scythe Park Stick of Truth. What a game this is as well, but 
a lot of missable trophies, which I do not like at all, are a pain, means you have to follow a guide again, quite a lot of collectibles, so Platinum's alright. The game, brilliant. The Platinum, it's alright. Probably don't go for it. Jedi Fallen Order. I'm going to be saying, I'm basically repeating myself with all of these games. But Jedi Fallen Order, unreal game. I was surprised. I'm not a big Star Wars guy. I like it, but I've not watched all the films. Um, I'm not that into the lore or anything like that. But this game, awesome. Really satisfying. I love Souls games, so scratch that itch. A bit of a challenge. It fell into the Souls-like category. But, and the reason... It's going in never, never again. One, I was getting the Platinum right at the start of the game coming out. And the bounty, one of the trophies bugged out and it took them forever to fix. Bounty Hunters, which you have to kill, didn't show up for me. So I couldn't get the Platinum trophy. And then secondly, completing all of the hollow maps. The map is awful in this game. You don't know what you need to do, what you need to find. Just not a fun experience whatsoever i wasted so much time one looking for the bounty hunters and one getting 100 percent on the hollow bd1 hollow maps that for those reasons never never again obviously they've fixed the glitch so that wouldn't be a thing now so that would bump it up to it's all right but yeah i've got the new one on the ps5 which i'm pumped to play but i'm just on a bit of like a backlog grind at the moment cleaning up trophies rather than playing new games unpopular opinion i might get slated in the comments sekiro next up i didn't really enjoy this game that much probably my least favorite uh maybe but maybe dark souls 2 but sekiro one of my least favorite Soulsborne games i wasn't that great i was okay i could i could beat all the bosses and things like that but i wasn't amazing at it and the end just soured it for me i had to do so much grinding to get all the skills at the end um, yeah, that just soured the experience slightly. It had multiple endings, of course, like with all the Soulsborne games, um, which isn't the end of the world. But yeah, um, it's all right. I, I wouldn't go for the Platinum again. Um, and probably wouldn't play it again um, if it wasn't already on my my list. Or maybe I would, but yeah, I, yeah. If I wasn't a Platinum hunter and I really a bit of a perfectionist trying to get 100% on games now yeah I definitely wouldn't recommend going for it Mafia 2 amazing game love it got both the PS you can see how much I like it because back on the PS3 area where PS3 era when all I used to play was Call of Duty FIFA online that was it I actually completed the single player version of this game I didn't get the platinum on it I could go back and grind it out when they made the definitive edition I had to play it once again. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. Um, trophies aren't that annoying. But it's going to go to the very top of Platinum. I'm actually going to put Bloodborne above Burnout. Mafia 2 right at the top of Platinum. Just because collectible grinding at the end just sours the experience just a touch. Just no need for it. You're following a guide. You're not really thinking about it. It's just not adding anything to the gameplay experience. Uncharted are pretty good with their trophy list. I like a challenge. Crushing mode, although a bit frustrating at times. Uh, yeah, I don't mind it. Um, and yeah, again, collectibles. It's just a theme with a lot of these games. They love to chuck in collectibles. It's just always an excuse to add in as a, a trophy. So um, for that reason, great game. But just below Bloodborne, a bit above Burnout Paradise. But like I said, on the whole, a decent a decent trophy list. I really want to play all the others, but I just haven't got around to it yet. Uh, Uncharted 2 from the PS3 is on my list. Uh, I played it. I play, <laughs> This is how shocking it is. I played it and Uncharted 2 on the PS3, like I think the best in the series it's renowned as. And I, I've earned one trophy on it. And guess what the trophy is? Playing in the multiplayer. So I played one of the best single player games ever on the PS3, PS4 era and just played online once and I've never played it since. Shocking. Younger me was shocking. Only cared about online. Ratchet and Clank, not too much to say. Um, really fun game. Uh, less stressful than some of the other games on this list. Uh, just a fun experience. But you have to do New Game Plus, which I don't like that being forced upon me. Um, so... I am going to put it at the bottom of Platinum because it's still worth Platinum, getting the Platinum 4. It's not that hard. Um, but yeah, just 
a few collectibles. You have to use every weapon, which is fine because it's good to experience everything. But new game plus, a bit of a pain. Then control. Again, another unpopular opinion. I didn't enjoy control. I'm not sure why. I think at this time, I was really on a grind for platinums. So I wasn't really enjoying games as much. I was just spamming them to try and get the platinum as quickly as possible. Looking back at the list, there's nothing really missable. There's free roam at the end, so you can just free roam and, and mop things up. Um, but because I just didn't enjoy the experience for whatever reason, I am actually going to put it in never, never again. Just, I wouldn't play the game ever again. Um, I really wouldn't. I just didn't enjoy it. And I think that's me, a me issue, not a game issue, because the game's actually went down really, really well. People love it, but for whatever reason, just didn't sit right with me. I'd still put it above Jedi, even though I love this game. And if it was ranking games, it'd be in creme de la creme or platinum. But yeah, the trophy, exp the platinum experience was awful. Ghosts of Tsushima, what a beautiful game. Love the combat, so satisfying. All the different combat styles you have to use against different enemies. Thought it was awesome. Massive open world though, which I find a little bit frustrating at times. And the, the collectible grind at the end just puts it at the very top of it's all right. And please remember, I'm ranking these games on the Platinum Trophy, not how good they are. Please do not murder me in the comments. We're now into the PS5 era. Um, so you'll see a few launch PS5 titles coming up. And the first one, Freebie, Astro's Playroom. Unbelievable game. So much fun just to have something given to you for free with pretty much a perfect trophy list. You have to find, I know you have to find collectibles, but the levels are so small, it's not frustrating. Um, you don't have to use a guide. It's simple enough to find them on your own, which I like. And the only thing, there's literally one change I'd make. I love that it's got speedrun trophies, but they put them in the DLC. I'd quite like them to have been in the main game just to make the, the Platinum a little bit harder. But it's going. It's first one in. Creme de la creme. Because I don't think they could really change that trophy list um, for the better. I think it was pretty much perfect. Next up is Sackboy. I'm looking back quite with like rose-tinted glasses now because I love Little Big Planet. Um, I love Sackboy. Really fun, light-hearted, friendly game. Wholesome game, some could say. But my God, you don't expect the challenge that it brings. The Rip Snorter. The time trial. It's got to be perfection. Um, the time isn't the issue. Uh, the time's actually pretty forgiving that you have to complete it in. It's the fact that you cannot die a single time across the whole, whole level, whole time trial. And it lasts like nearly 10 minutes, I think. I can't remember exactly, but nearly 10 minutes, I think. So... Um, yeah, for a kid's, what could be called a kid's game, pretty tricky actually. I almost broke a few controllers going for this. But I am going to put it in platinum just because I like games challenging you. Um, I don't want the, the list just to be too easy. Um, collectible is in there, of course, but nothing crazy. Again, pretty linear linear levels, so it's quite easy to find most of them apart from a few. I'm gonna, just going to go there, pretty much in the middle of platinum. The Rips and Oil was frustrating at the time, but I look back and I think it's quite nice that they've put a challenge in there. And then we go with the very first Dark Souls. So the third Soulsborne game in the list. I'm actually going to go for all the From Software or Soulsborne Platinums. I've got Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 and Demon Souls left. So I'm over halfway there. A great game. Very good game. Again, you have to sort of follow a guide for certain things, which is just the nature of these games um you can do a blind playthrough first which i did um which is really fun but then yeah following a guide just takes you away from the immersive gameplay and you're constantly checking if you're going to miss something or or do something so for that reason i'm just going to put it uh it's not as good as bloodborne sat boy i probably slightly prefer i'm going to go just above uncharted so still go for the platinum but um some of the grinding's a bit of a pain as well dirt 5 again i just really bought this game because it was a ps5 launch title and there wasn't that many games at the start of the ps5 era so uh, i like racing games every now and then so i thought i'd give it a blast don't really remember much don't know what to say about it it's no massive challenge but the one thing i do remember and thankfully by the time i went for it they'd changed this but you had to drive 10,000 miles which would take about 150 hours uh they reduced that by a lot down to 1,000 miles um so and people would make custom tracks online so you could just like afk getting your miles up 
Um, but yeah, the Platinum Experience, I just don't remember much about it. So I'm just going to say it's all right and go to the bottom of it's all right, actually. Um, because if I don't really remember it, it can't have been that good. Next up is Miles Morales. I haven't actually polished off the first Spider-Man. Uh, but Miles Morales I did, quite short. Uh, I wish they made it a little bit more challenging. Um, these have like super high platinum percentages because they're such great games. Uh, but there's no challenge there. And they forced... Uh, New Game Plus on you, which I don't love because I just sort of speed run it. Um, there's no need for me to really want to experience the game again. And I'll play it again if I really wanted to. Um, so I'm going to go and it's all right. Just at the very top though, because it's right on the on the border. 11.11, Memories Retold. Quite a cool little game, actually. I did it. And there's only one reason I did this game. It's probably the only game that people might not know in this whole list, I'd say. Um... And the only reason I did it is because I was going to do like an alphabet challenge of getting a, a platinum trophy with the game from every letter of the alphabet and obviously starting with a number and then doing A, B, C, D, so on, so forth. Um, all I remember about it is there was so many endings. I remember the ending sequence like so vividly in my memory because I had to redo it so many times. Um, and I honestly would never play this game again. If it wasn't for that challenge. And I, know, I never even did the challenge. I did this game and then just... It obviously put me off doing the challenge. So I didn't even go for a, a game with the letter A. Um, so yeah, that's going to go at the very bottom. Because there's no way I would have played that game otherwise. But actually, for an indie, it's it's alright. I'm not slating the game by any means. But yeah. Resident Evil Village. Now I think Resident Evil... I've pretty much got the blueprint for a good platinum trophy. The games are awesome, which helps, um, especially Resident Evil Village. It reminded me of Resi 4, my favourite. They add that replayability. They want to make you play a new game plus because they give you a challenge to do. Um, so like knife only, pistol only or something like that. Makes the gameplay a little bit different. There's a challenge in there as well. Um, you have to do it on hard difficulties. There's a mercenaries mode, which is really good fun as well. So I, I wouldn't really complain about anything on this trophy list and that's why it's going to go to the very very top of creme de la creme it's going to knock out astro's playroom and go right to the top resident evil village if you haven't played it you've got to play it and you've got to go for the platinum as well i think rift apart such a good game um but again you're forced to do new game plus a little bit i don't think you have to complete it um but yeah i'm gonna go right to ne near the top of platinum because i think it's better than uh ratchet and clank ps5 game obviously i think it was like groundbreaking the visuals and everything like that so good and the the platinum trophy obviously fairly easy i'd prefer a bit more of a challenge but um still you've got to go for it right overcooked this is the all you can eat one all you can eat version so it includes like overcooked one and two played it with the girlfriend and we're still together so i think that's a good sign for this game um, if they had requirements where you have to get three stars, like the maximum stars on every level, we wouldn't still be together because there's no way we would have been able to do that. Um, but apart from a few annoying cleanup trophies at the end that I just sort of had to do by myself, ah, it was great times. We both really enjoyed the game. We sometimes go back to it every now and then. Um, yeah, uh, I think the trophy list for the individual like Overcooked 1 and Overcooked 2 make you go for the highest stars, which would actually be really challenging. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much... Uh, it's tough. I'm almost in creme de la creme, but I just don't think I quite am. Just because the cleanup trophies at the end. Um, but I don't remember anything be anything being that annoying. We didn't have to keep replaying anything. It was only to beat levels, which is the point of the game, right? Um, so yeah, I'm going to go very top of platinum. If you've got somebody that you could play it with, highly recommend it um but you also have to boost a few i think you have to get four players for certain trophies as well so fine but um yeah almost creme de la creme but those mop-up trophies well i'm pretty annoyed finished finished it up finished going through them all um had them in their rankings was happy i realized my camera ran out of space so yeah i'm gonna re-record because you don't want to watch the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes without seeing this, do you? I could have just left the footage in without the face cam, but you're not here for that. You're not here for the Platinums, you're here for this. Anyway, next up was Crash. I think we all know what I'm going to say about Crash. What there is to say about Crash. And that is the relics. 
I actually didn't find the high road that difficult. Uh, that wasn't the one that was the bugbearer for me. Um, it was, I think it was called Native Forest or Sunset Vista. One of them it was a right pain for me. It was a long level. I could just never seem to quite get there without dying. Um, but I like a challenge. I don't think I would change anything with this trophy list. Nothing really that annoying about it. It's just you have to get good. And for that reason, creme de la creme. Say no more. Straight up there. Titanfall 2 is the only game on this list that I've actually got a video about. Sort of like me getting the plat earning the platinum on it. Um, great game. Awesome campaign. Really enjoyed it. A few multiplayer trophies, but these aren't bad. You don't need to boost for them or anything like that. It's just dip your toe in. See what you think. You can play more if you want, but you don't have to. You'll earn the trophies really quickly, which I like. But there's one trophy, and I was just saying I like a challenge, the Gauntlet, which I actually found harder than the Crash Bandicoot time trials. Uh, the Gauntlet, which you have to do in like 30 seconds, was stressful, to say the least. It took me a few days. I had to keep taking breaks. So um, I think for that reason, I'm just going to dip it into Platinum, but really high up on Platinum. I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go 2-2. Two, two. Slot 2 just above Mafia 2. Now I think I'm going to get hated on in the comments again. Elden Ring, it's a great game. Awesome combat, but just wasn't quite it for me. I prefer, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of Soulsborne games on this list. I prefer a bit more of a linear Soulsborne. I don't want a free roam. I had to look at guides every now and then because I was lost. I really didn't know where I was meant to go next, which I don't like. I also couldn't be bothered with replaying it, so I just sort of made a save file and did all three endings, which is probably another sign. Um, but I am excited for the DLC because I want to give it another go. Um, and I'm probably realised that I'm completely wrong, but I am going to go and it's all right because I don't think I'd want to platinum it again. I'm just below Days Gone as well, so yeah, quite quite low down, uh, quite low down indeed. Far Cry Primal, I'm not really going to say much about. I got one trophy on it when I was younger, quite young, and never played it since. And then I just was going to do a video on it, sort of like cleaning up the backlog, getting a platinum for a game I only had 1% on. But I was that bored playing it. I recorded myself getting the platinum, but I just thought it's going to be a boring video because I wasn't enjoying myself. So for that reason, it's going to the very bottom of never, never again. Game's okay. Just nothing special. Would definitely not play it again. Callisto Protocol. Now this game's good. It's got a hard mode, maximum security I think it's called, which I did on the first playthrough, which actually makes certain parts really quite tricky. So I like that. Um, a few collectibles, but nothing that frustrating. And you could really do everything in one playthrough. Um, so I'm definitely going to go into Platinum. And I think I'll go just below... Should we go there? I think we'll go there. I think we'll go just below Rift Apart. Actually, I'm going to go just above Rift Apart. Why not? And then Spyro, three words, wholesome, relaxing, enjoyable, going in creme de la creme. I think the trophy list is perfect. I know it's not challenging, but it makes you experience the whole game. Um, it's not super long. doesn't make you do anything frustrating. I think for what the game is, I think the trophy list matches that perfectly. So yeah, I wouldn't change anything about the trophy list. And for that reason alone, it has to go in the top ranking. Another fairly unpopular opinion, Keener Bridge of Spirits. You would never expect this to be as tricky as it actually is. Um, it gets really difficult. A bit like Sackboy. Um, but I cheesed. I'm, ash I'm ashamed to say it. I cheesed the hardest difficulty. So I don't actually know how hard it is. Um, and I think that probably says it all. Me doing that is probably a sign that I didn't want to play the game again. Didn't want to complete the game again. And the collectibles were a little bit annoying as well. So I am going to go right to the very top of It's Alright. Um, but yeah, only there because... Yeah, I cheesed the trophy. I'm sorry. I'm actually going to bump Elden Ring up above Days Gone. Yeah, I think I'd rather play that again than Days Gone, to be honest. Cuphead. Now, I'm happy with myself about this one. It's probably my hardest platinum. Actually, probably... Actually, definitely, I would say. Um, but a good challenge. A fair challenge. You didn't feel like you were being cheated. I did think maybe expert difficulty was unnecessary. Um, but actually, I think that just separates the wheat from the chaff. Having that makes you really grind for the platinum. Um, 
and then also getting the A ranks. I don't think that was too much of a challenge. But yeah, some of the bosses on Expert, the dice I especially struggled with for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, I would definitely say wouldn't change anything about the trophy list. Nothing grindy apart from obviously grinding out, beating the bosses. But yeah, it's going in the top rank. You're going straight in there. Um, at number three. And yeah, I'm really happy with myself. Would I want to do it again? I might have to with the DLC. Um, but yeah, I think I think I would. And I think that's why it's there. God of War. Now, I left this game for ages, which might be a sign of what I think about the Platinum. I completed it and just didn't do the post-game grind. But the game's PlayStation royalty. Rightfully so. It is awesome. But I can't go in creme de la creme because I'm ranking the Platinum trophy. And I find certain aspects annoying. The Niflheim fog area which you have to keep going into and leaving just unnecessary in my opinion um and yeah it's a lot of cleaning up at the end i would still definitely go for the platinum again um but quite low down you know i think i'd even go below uncharted i think i'd slot it in just about here great game but i would change quite a few things about the platinum but i would i would do it again hence why it's in the platinum ranking and then finally, you can see all these. This is just because I had to re-record this bit. Uh, so ignore them. The final game is Resistance Burning Skies on the PlayStation Vita. The only PlayStation Vita Platinum I've got. Did this like last week. What a game. Honestly, it brought back such good memories. Going to pick up a PS3 on launch day and picking up Resistance Fall of Man and playing that game. Uh, the nostalgia there was awesome. It's an easy and short platinum. You can play the game on easy. I did play it on normal, um, but you can just beat it on, on easy if you would like. And, you know, it might sound like I'm going to go creme de la creme here, but unfortunately I'm not um, for a couple of reasons. I would almost like them to force a little bit more of a challenge, force players to play it on, on normal, not give them the option to play it on easy. Um, but the main reason it's not going in creme de la creme is because of multiplayer trophies. They have been the reason you can't obtain Platinum is on the older Resistance games, and that's probably going to be the case with this. They'll probably shut down the servers at some point. You have to, they're completely dead, the servers. You have to find a boosting partner on PSN profiles. I got fairly lucky. I found someone quickly who was ready there and then to, to boost the trophies, but just, yeah, unnecessary. Didn't, you know, unlike Titanfall 2, where you just dip your toes in, you had to play it for a little bit. You had to play a few games, not just one. Unfortunately, I am going to go in Platinum. I'd definitely Platinum it again. Fun, short experience. A lot of nostalgia for me. Um, but yeah, just going to go in Platinum. But yeah, that is the completed list. Take two. Because my uh, camera storage filled up. But yeah, you probably disagree with a lot of these. Probably made a lot of enemies in the comments. But let me know what you think. 30 Platinum. Here, I might do this again when I get to 50. Some of my... Um, Opinions may have changed by then, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy. I've got some big projects coming. This is just like a stopgap till then. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this sort of style video. People have done loads of things like this in the past, but yeah, I'll see you on the next one.